Good evening, my name is William, and I'm going to have a go at um, doing a recap at least of this Valve Radio. I can't seem to get schematics for it, so I'm going to have to wing it. Um, So his master's voice valve radio um, runs on 240 volts. It's a New Zealand New Zealand based radio and um, runs off 240 volts. It's it was originally my grand's. Um, I think it might have been my grand's husband's. Radio is uh, uh, probably at least 40 odd years old plus. So I'm going to um, have a go at doing a recap of it because it's been sitting around for years. It's probably got moisture in its old caps. Um, a while ago I have replaced, had replaced the perished rubberized cord because the rubber was perished it has now got a modern plastic cord that's earthed it, I don't think it was earthed when I got it but it's earthed now so uh, it, the radio does function there is a slight hum so I'm suspecting filter caps I will have to order in some caps. This is my first radio restoration. I am no good on cabinet work, so I'm just going to do an electrical restoration of it. The <laughs> dial is cracked and the staples have popped out, so I think I might have used some hot snot to um, fill in the crack a bit, but and also the tuning uh, needle broke off as well at some stage. So um, it was one I could solder on a. I just soldered a piece of tinned wire. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll pop the chassis out and the chassis out uh, there was two screws at the bottom of course the knobs and the speaker came off with two screws from the front the um, speaker isn't attached to the chassis it was a, it's attached via wires to the front There's the front, there's the repair I've done with the tuning needle. Uh, speaker appears to be in good condition. Like I said, the radio does function, it just probably needs a recap. And the old the old wax capacitors. The dial string seems to be intact. It tunes okay. This won't zoom out any further. It's, all the controls are reasonably free. I have done a bit of a loop job on it. The tone control was a bit stiff, and in fact, it's gone a bit stiff. It's gone a bit stiff over the years. Was, I don't know, don't quite know how long ago I had this apart before, but I only really replaced the cord and squirted Dub D40 into the controls, so that seems okay. I'll, mm, of course, I can't seem to find schematics for it. I may have to search elsewhere for it, but yeah, it looks like a, some sort of 
IF stage, although that's the IF there, I think. I'll probably have to replace that grid cap. So, grid cap wire. We'll flip it on its side and look on the underside. Doing this one handed is not a good idea. That resistor probably wants replacing. It looks like the bands have come off. And the chassis is definitely going to need some recaps. Especially those domino jobbies. Now there's a prime example. There's a bit of corrosion there. Looks like a one meg. I think. Later on, I'll write down a list of the value caps that are in here. Especially that can capacitor. I can use my homemade ESR meter. It won't really... It's not really accurately calibrated, but it will give me an idea of whether the cap is um, dried out. this thing out. Oop. I need a couple of hands. Yeet. Okay. Yeah. A common point. I think this one's actually got three capacitors in it. Chassis is common, and there's three capacitors in that can, I think. Okay, I think the ESR of those capacitors, those, especially one of them, is extraordinarily high for that value. I'll just see what value they are. Oops, don't want to ruin that speaker actually. I suppose I should have sold at the jobby. Yeah, 
to put that speaker in a relatively safe place. Probably back in the chassis actually, but in fact we'll put the screws and the speaker back in its chassis. Cabinet, I should say. <laughs> Clumsy ox. Yeah, what value are these capacitors? There's a 240s and a 20. Okay. I think the ESR of those should be a lot lower. It's a definite can cap replacement. And a lot of wax capacitors that need replacing. Just gonna I'll make a note of what values of each capacitor I'll need and voltage rating particularly. Possibly 400 volt ratings. I can't see a voltage rating on that, so I'll have to. I'll check out some of the ESR ratings of of some of those caps under chassis and I'll and checks with the resistances that's meant to be a 470k resistor I'm not 100% sure if that's intolerance or not it's a 10% tolerance resistor and 10% of 470 47 K uh, it's uh, out of tolerance that resistor for a 10% tolerance that's out of tolerance by at least 17 K uh, there's a one meg here. Let's wait till it's stable. It's either gone down in value or it's still charging. I think it's in parallel with the cap. It's gone down in value, I think. I think it's a 1 meg. And that's a 5%, I think. Yeah, that's gone down in value. And there's corrosion on that one. So that's getting replaced anyway. Um, so 47. That one's within tolerance, I think. Yeah. Can't see the tolerance band on it, it's covered by another resistor. Um, there's at least a 470 and a 1 meg that need replacing. Let's see, 20, no, 270. Ho ho ho! Oh dear. Looks like we need a 270 as well, it's gone way up in value. Odd job here. I think it might be the 51k or something. Let's see if it's in any, in any realm of that. Okay. 
I'm not quite 100% sure how to read those guys, but... Mm, well, it's reading 18k, so... It might need replacing, if I could read, figure out what the value was. It's got an orange dot, I think, and a brown middle stripe, a green end stripe, so I'm guessing it's meant to be 50 something, probably 51k, 10% tolerance, ok I'll get a 51k as well, um, there's a 330 ohm, 10%, Seems with intolerance. Is a hundred K. Ten percent tolerance. That might be a bit tight. You might want to replace that. Got to be within 10k of the stated value, and it's gone up 5k over that at least, or 4.5k over that. So I'll get 100k. And there's another one of those stripe and dot ones. I think. Mm, that might have been burnt. That might be a 93k, I think. Well, 390. Well, bad. No, not 390, but 130 or something. I'll see what it reads anyway. Again, I'm not 100% sure on how to read those guys. It may even be dot, stripe, and um, resistor uh, barrel. Let's tell what value that is. Mm. Okay, actually, although well, it might have gone up a hundred ohms, a couple. Okay, going on with the standard resistors that I know how to read. That is a 4.7 meg. It's reading 3.97. Going up a little, about 4.1 mic. It might be okay. 10% tolerance. It seems a bit low. That'll be replaced. 47k. Yeah, that big resistor there is on a capacitor. It might be a biasing resistor. That one's gone way up. 54k. Yeah, 47k. Not sure what this black guy is meant to read, but it looks like a low value, so 
reads 1.4k, so I'm probably betting that's probably it. Probably meant to be that. That one can be left. And definitely replacing all the caps. And at least those resistors that I measured that have gone up in value. No idea what those these resistors here are meant to read, but if I had the schematics, it would be a lot easier. But that resistor there looks cracked, so I'm gonna have to replace that one. It looks like a high wattage one. Mm -hmm. I think the pot might be okay. Well, this is my list so far. Um, so the list of values that I'll have to replace. And then the capacitors. Um, I think I've checked all the resistors it has. Mm. And also that domino cat. I'm not sure how to what value that's meant to be either. Uh, I think it's either 100k, uh, 100 nano, uh, 100 nano, or uh, value is there, and it's covered in gunk. That may even be a uh, three five three hundred and fifty, I think. Yeah, that'll be th probably three hundred and fifty. That one might be nineteen K, I think. It's probably 19k. Let's see what that measures. Mm, I could be wrong. Because <laughs> according to the meter, it measures about 400 something ohms. So you're measuring the right spot there. Something on there. Uh, maybe 15k actually. Yeah, I think I've figured out how to read them now. So that color, that color, and your multiplier. That's meant to be 15k, and it's measuring 18k, so that's getting replaced.
Measure 390, and that's measuring, it's measuring 400 ohms. Well, I just, I just bought some parts. Now those three electrodes there, fucking heck, that's that's steep. Those high voltage caps. High voltage um, electros are freaking gilded, I'll bet. And yeah, I just got some 630 volt rated um, caps for some of them. Those 100 puffs, I couldn't get any higher than 50 volts, so they're gonna have to do. And yeah, I got some carbon resistors. And all up, fifty New Zealand dollars, almost no, almost fifty New Zealand dollars for those parts. That's including shipping too. They should arrive soon, and I can replace the parts in this radio.